What's up gamers? This is from Small Giant. Welcome to my demo of Empires and Puzzles. That's right ladies and gentlemen. This is the newest game that I've actually started to uh, play recently that's in the puzzle genre. Um, it reminds me so far of kind of like an it's a puzzle game, obviously, but it seems to have more of a like a building thing, like as if it was like a slow paced war game or something like that. It has a lot of interesting potential. I kind of like it. I haven't been playing it very long. I've just been seeing it more or less being advertised to me so much that eventually I was like, you know what, fine, we're going to play the game. And I've only played for a couple hours and it's a lot of fun. Well, actually only about an hour. I played it yesterday for a while. And then I just loaded it up today for a bit. So I figured I'd show this off a little bit to show how it is. So basically you have this right here, which is kind of like your stronghold. This is like once the higher this is, the higher you can build everything else. Uh, so this is basically your Citadel for those of you who played Final Fantasy XV or New Empire. It's like your main uh, base hub. And then of course you have these little buildings like you have iron stores and that's good for helping you build things. Uh, you have a training camp where you can upgrade your units. Well, I think you make you new units, I think is how it works. You have your uh, crafting area where you can make items. Uh, you have a farm where you can make food, because food is how you can, um, I think, train heroes or level up and things like that. Um, but basically, you're building a base. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Obviously, I'm only level 2, so as you can tell, I've been playing super long. But uh, I really, really like this game. And the music's actually decent. And you know me, I'm a sucker for games with good music. It's not like, you know, like S plus type music, but I give it A for sure. Uh, it's pretty decent. But let's actually go into the actual game itself. We're gonna go ahead and do a map here and uh, see if we can uh, beat a level. We can do it with a regular story mode. All right, so I'm in the beginning of this particular world and I'll kind of show you how the game itself is played. Uh, this is my team. Apparently you get, you know, heroes, uh, each color is like five colors basically. There's like a little triangle for what's weak against what. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, by the way, Sharon, the little lady that's in red, she looks like Myla Kunis. So if anyone else has noticed that, please let me know in the comments. She looks really, really familiar to Myla Kunis. I'm just saying. They look really, really similar. I'm just wondering if she actually, like, you know, had anything to do with this game. That would be really interesting if she was. Uh, and yes, I know who she, I don't know her or anything like that. Although my girlfriend knows I have a crush on my Coolies, but that's neither here nor there. Let's play the game. Alright, so basically the idea is to match colors. Now, since the enemies on top are all, like, you know, purplish or black, uh, the opposite, which you can see on the triangle on the top left, is, uh, is weak against what would be considered light or yellow. So I'm going to use yellow to deal them damage. So it says strong, which means, you know, it was strong damage against them. Uh, and of course, if I was to do the same type of damage or any other, it would be less damage in general. Ideally, you want to match up, you know, the weaker colors or the colors that are better against it. And then if you level up their bar, because the more that you match certain colors, the more a bar appears at the bottom of their uh, hit points. So once that meter fills, you'll actually be able to do their special move. So maybe I might be able to show this off in this demo. And special moves will usually like do something like healing or uh, or damage. Like this, for this, in this case, this guy on the left hand, the green one, looks like him. Boom! Does his ability, does some damage. So, you know, it has a little bit of RPG elements, as you can tell. Now, when you're matching colors, you have to match them in um, relation to where they're positioned. So, if I match something on the left side of the screen, it's not going to touch them. But since I have, like, a four match here, it'll actually hit that guy. When you match four or more, you get special icons that let you do things. So, Myla Kunis right now, yes, I'm going to call her Myla, is currently able to do her special. She's a healer, so she's going to heal. And then uh, we're gonna use uh, the main hero, who's actually uh, the person I'm using for my actual avatar, to his special. Boom. And then uh, since I have a special icon, I'm gonna use this icon so you can see what it does. Basically, any surrounding tiles will just deal damage to whatever is there. So it's pretty cool. So, you know, again, it's a basic match-em-up game. 
but it has some RPG and war type elements. Uh, you can also apparently raid other people in this game too. So that's kind of interesting. Oops. I don't know how to match today. <laughs> Welcome to Matching 101. So I'll show you uh, an example of me missing. So there's a four thing that I can connect right now. It's not gonna do any damage because I have no connection, but I wanna show it to you. So there's four, but no damage is done because that monster was not in that location. So location means everything. Location, location, location. Uh, I'm gonna use someone's special ability. Do some damage and more damage dealt. There you go. Like I said, it's a pretty cool game. The music's actually kind of cool. You know, a little bit of war type thing. I'm digging it, I'm not gonna lie, I'm digging it a lot. This is a game that I might play for a while. Um, I've been actually playing this more on my tablet. This is the first time I've ever played it on my phone. This is also the very first time I've ever heard the music, believe it or not. My girl Myla, ready for the healing. Now to do some more damage. Uh, sure. And now it's boss time. Our main hero. Oh, with that slam. So now I have the ability to get five together. So when that happens, you get this special icon. What the icon does is every icon that has a color with it will automatically like attack and deal some damage. So I'll go ahead and do that now just to show you. So you just tap on it, boom, they all go after them. And of course the more of a chain or a combo you get the better you are. And it looks like everybody is ready to fight now. So we'll do a little bit of healing for my girl Myla, my future ex-wife. <laughs> nah, it'll never happen. But anyway, there you have it. Da -da -da. And this, of course, are the spoils that you get for victory. Pretty cool. And then, of course, this is telling me that I need to do more training and building and whatnot. So that's kind of an idea, you know, a little bit of a sneak peek on what this game is like. Again, this is a pretty cool game. Like I said, a little bit of war, uh, a little bit of RPG, and a little bit of puzzle. A good combination of everything. And it's easy to understand, which is a lot of the thing that I like about this. A lot of other puzzle games that have RPG elements to it, they seem kind of complicating. I mean, I get it. I get how to do the strategies in a lot of other games, like the Magic the Gathering puzzle quest and a few others. But this one for me is just a little more simple. This is something that a more casual player could enjoy and appreciate. It's not just a puzzle game, but it's not too much to where it's like, oh my God, what am I doing? Kind of a thing. So I dig that about this game. But yeah, whenever you want to level things up, you go to your base um, and then you tap on your stronghold, you hit upgrade. And look, I actually have enough to build to the next level. So I use the items that I've stored up and boom, within a certain number of, you know, minutes, um, it'll actually be the next level and I can continue to build from there. So you're building your base, you're leveling up your characters. There's all sorts of stuff that you're doing in this game. It's so much fun. It's so easy to play. I'm loving it. And then of course they have a system where you can raid other players. So if I were to tap on raid, um, I can find opponent and then boom. There's another team of players I can fight against. I'm not going to fight them because obviously I'm completely outclassed. So it wouldn't work for me. But if I was to beat them, I'd get some of their spells and whatnot. And they could get revenge to get some of their items back and whatnot. So, you know, it's just kind of something cool to check out. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this demo. Um, I'm going to be playing this game for quite a while. And I hope you do too. And uh, we'll see you guys on my next video. Y'all take it easy and keep gaming, y'all. Have fun.